We've long been told aspirin can help reduce heart disease. Now, a new study says long-term regular aspirin use can substantially cut the risks of some kinds of cancer. Here to explain is Dr. Heather Yeo of New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center. Uh, doctor, good to see you. Why, why was this study so significant? Uh, thanks, Jeff. You know, it's actually, the study is important because it's one of the first studies to study patients, 130,000 patients, actually, for such a long period of time. They study patients for over 32 years and showed that after taking a moderate amount of aspirin for a long period of time, patients had a significantly decreased risk of cancer. Gastrointestinal and colorectal cancers. Correct. And in fact, for GI cancers, the risk goes down by 20 percent. And for colorectal cancers, for patients I treat in particular, it goes down to by 25 percent. So it's really exciting news. But the duration, it did say, what, 16 years before it Correct. is effective in this patients way? Patients need to take the aspirin for at least 16 years. And after they've stopped taking for a period of three or four years, the benefit's no longer there. Uh, by the way, when you say regular basis, what does that mean? So regular basis means that patients had to take at least two 325 milligram tablets um, during the week. What, what is it the aspirin is, is doing? So aspirin works through a, a number of mechanisms. Probably the most important one is by decreasing inflammation. But it also works on clotting in the blood system, and it also works to decrease uh, cancer cell production. There's evidence that, that aspirin can treat cancer. This just dealt with actually preventing cancer to begin with. We, we should mention that. The bottom line, that is, from this study, I mean, should people just rush out and buy buy that aspirin or no? I think the bottom line, Jeff, is that patients need to talk to their doctors about it. Not, aspirin is not right for everyone. Again, it has side effects. But this will help increase the dialogue between both physicians and their patients. Dr. Heather Yo, thanks very much. Thanks.